Welcome to Kelsey Yoga Class Podcast, episode number 96, brought to you by the Elsie's Yoga Class Podcast app for the iPhone, the iPod Touch, the iPad, and Android. And you can get them at the iTunes App Store or the Amazon.com for $3.99. And also, we are brought to you today by one of my most favorite companies, Floracopia. So Floracopia is uh, the amazing company that makes these, these incredible essential oils. And this is Vetiver. And Vetiver is the company that, um, Vetiver is, a, is the oil that I use all the time to ground myself, to, uh, to take in the best sort of grounding that I could possibly do. It's not a scent that's like light and fluffy. It's very earthy and it's very like, this is a smell. <laughs> if you go to floracopia.com slash discount and use the code yogi, Y-O-G-E-E-K, you will get 25% off of your first purchase. How cool is that? So getting back to our class today. Today's class is very different because what I did is I shot myself practicing, just moving from what I wanted and from what you guys had requested. So I, I created a 30-minute uh, potpourri class, so it has a little bit of everything in it, standing poses and hip openers and back bends and things like that. 30 minutes, pretty quick. But I did it just organically. I didn't plan the class. I just started to move and practice. And then I recorded the audio on top of that. And I found out that when I do that, I tend to lead the class. So this class isn't necessarily taught to you. It's more about saying, uh, and now go into down dog, and now step your right foot forward, and now do this. So there's not that much teaching going on in the class, and there's no theme either. It's just go. So I would love to have your input and let me know what you think about the class. And um, yeah, so please let me know at eyogaclass at gmail.com. Now one other thing. It's going to be my six-year anniversary of this podcast, as well as my 100th episode. We're at episode 96 here. I would love it if you guys would email me uh, some voice feedback about perhaps different places that you've practiced Elsie's yoga class or perhaps things that it has gotten you through just to celebrate together this like online community that's been going on for six years. And also... Um, is there any way that you could go to iTunes, perhaps the iTunes music store, and give me a review for the podcast? Because that would be really great, too. It would just make, um, it's just so great to be able to get more people involved and more people practicing yoga. So you can send me voice feedback either attached to an email as a little, you know, um, attachment of the audio. You can record it on your smartphone or your iPhone. Usually it's pretty easy to do that through iPhones. Um, or you can call 310-651-6238, and it's just a phone call. You can just call and record your message there, and I, I am going to get a special episode together. So I hope you guys enjoy the class. Please give me feedback because it's not usually how I teach. It's totally different, and obviously it's audio. So uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys, and do you, you want to see my girls? There they are. So come on up to the top of your mat, please. Just right to the top. Place your feet on the ground. Have a nice Tadasana. Feet hip width apart. Second toe in line with the center of your ankle. And settle in to your breath. Soften your gaze. Take a nice inhale. Take your arms up and over the head. Interlace the hands up and over the head. Root the thighs back. Fill the back of your waistline. And get tall. Breathe and lengthen. From the hips, root down into the earth and then lengthen back up through the arms. Now lean over towards your right side. Root down through both the legs. Lean over to the right side. Reach more through the heel of your left hand. Inhale, come all the way back up. 
and over to the left side. Extend out through the heel of your right hand, fill the back of the waist. Inhale, come up as you root down. Big stretch up. Release the arms out to the sides and then interlace the hands behind your back. Take a moment to roll one arm at a time back, so one shoulder at a time. Make the arms strong. Try to pull the forearms away from the midline. Curl the bottom tips of your shoulder blades in. Extend the crown of the head up. Sides of the neck move back. And keep the back of your waistline really full. The front part of the uh, rib cage tends to pop forward. So just feel that back body a lot. Good. Release and let go. Let go of those arms. Now interlace. I mean, sorry. Reach your arms way up towards the sky. Exhale, fold and bow into Uttanasana, please. Welcome to your hamstrings. You can move around however that feels good to you. You can widen your stance. How about doing that? Widen your stance a little bit wider apart. Yeah. Root down through the feet. And then from here, move your hips from side to side a little bit. Back and forth. Rooting down through the feet. Now go ahead and bend your knees a lot. Lift your toes up. Squeeze your legs towards each other. Press your groins in, back, and apart. So keep reaching your sit bones up like you're trying to literally reach your bum up towards the center of the ceiling. And then stretch your right leg absolutely straight. Now stretch your left leg absolutely straight and bend your right leg. It's kind of like you're riding a bike. Keep rooting back through your sit bones and widening your groins. Bend your knees again and now stretch both legs 100% back, widening your scroins, thighs back, and then fold as deep as you can into yourself. Bend your knees and do it again. Press back through your groins. Let your side body be really long. Good. Now root down. Inhale. Take your arms up and over the head and bring your hands to the heart, please. Again, coming to the top of the mat. So this is just about getting into your body, feeling yourself, feeling your your everything inside. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold and bow. Touch the earth. Inhale, reach your chest forward. And then exhale, step your left foot back so you come into a nice high lunge position. With your next inhalation, stretch your right leg straight. And then as you exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, stretch your right leg straight. Exhale, bend the right knee. Lengthen the heart forward. Stretch the right leg straight again, and then bend the right knee. Good. Bring the back knee down to the earth. Lift your chest up, hands to the hips. Squeeze your legs towards each other, and now reach your arms up towards the sky for a big, deep lunge. Keep lengthening up as you root down. Hands down. Step forward to the top of the mat for Uttanasana once again. Legs nice and straight. Reach back through your sit bones. Inhale, lengthen forward and exhale, bow. Step your right foot back to the back of the mat for a nice, beautiful lunge position. Extend the left leg straight. Exhale, bend that knee again. Stretch that left leg straight. Pin the left hip back in space more and then exhale, bend the knee. Bend the knee at a 90 degree. Good. Stretch your left leg straight. Pin that left hip back in space again. Keep the back leg really strong. Now, keeping the leg strong, bring the back knee down to the floor. Come up to your, to lift your chest up, up to the hips. And now take your arms up towards the sky and stretch up into a deep lunge. Your back knee down to the earth. Good. Hands down to the floor. And now you get a chance to step back to downward facing dog. Ah, take a moment to let your body kind of ah, wiggle around in the pose a lot. So bend your knees, lift your heels up and spread your toes. And for, as you're doing that, keep reaching your groins back and apart. Keep extending your sit bones back, letting your lower back move in and up. And then as you exhale, press your legs absolutely straight. So take the groins back and extend the heels even more towards the floor beautiful with an inhalation please come into a plank position shoulders directly over those wrists inner hands into the floor 
heart nice and full, back of the waistline full. Pause in this pose for a couple more breaths. Head back. Exhale, come down, Chaturanga Dandasana, into the floor. Point your toes, click the toenails down, and make sure that your thighs are parallel. Lift your chest up into your first back bend. This is a nice little uh, cobra pose. You get a chance to wiggle from side to side through the hips, through the pelvis. Come back to center, curl your shoulders back, head back. And downward facing dog. Breathe and enjoy the breath. Stay in your body. Feel how nice it, it feels like just to move around and just to be embodied. Take your uh, left foot forward and step forward to the top of the mat. If you want to jump forward, that's totally cool. So you're in the Uttanasana again, forward fold. Take a moment here to inhale, reach your chest forward and exhale, fold back in. Root down, rise up, arms up and over the head, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold and bow, please. Inhale, reach your chest forward and then exhale. Step it back, plank position. Exhale, come down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, come into your back bend. Curl your shoulders back, press your head back. Extend from the tailbone out through your toes and forward and up through the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog position, please. Breathe, enjoy. Soft face. Left foot forward, step forward to the top of the mat. Uttanasana, inhale, reach your chest. Exhale and fold. Root down to rise, circle the arms up, lift up. Hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up, curl and open, exhale and bow, fold. Inhale, extend your heart forward, exhale, step it back again from here, please, into plank position. Nice big breath at the top and exhale, come down, Chaturanga Dandasana, point your toes and lift up through the heart. <sighs> Shoulders back, curl the bottom tips of your shoulder blades in more, extend the crown of the head up towards the sky and exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe and lengthen. Follow your breath. Enjoy breathing. Come forward to the top of the mat again here. So keep your legs nice and straight. With an inhale, extend the heart forward. And as you exhale, fold back in. Root down, rise up, circle your arms up, lift up to the sky. And now bring your hands straight to your heart. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, fold and bow, touch the earth. Inhale, extend the heart forward. And then as you exhale, again, plank position, top of a push-up. Slowly come down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Point those toes, lift up to your chest. Enjoy being in this position here as you press the tops of the feet down and find even more space. So from the pelvis, extend out through the toes and forward and up through the heart downward facing dog position. Enjoy breathing while I talk with my daughter here for a second. What is she doing? She's trying to do the yoga right now. So step your right foot forward to the top of the mat. Stretch your right leg straight. And now bend it again, just like we did at the beginning, right? So it's a deep lunge, right? 90 degrees on that, on that right leg now. Now bring your back heel to the earth. So we're going to move into Parsva Konasana. And I'm actually doing the full pose this time. We're not taking the forearm to the top of the right thigh. Usually I teach it like that. But this time take the hand to the outside of the right ankle as your arm, right? So the right knee is at a 90 degree angle. The back leg is straight. Your left arm comes up and over the ear. This is Parsva Konasana, side angle pose. Keep pressing the top of the left thigh bone back towards the back plane of the body. So you're literally resisting the top of the pelvis as it wants to pop forward. Now scoop the tailbone down, turn your belly up towards the sky more. Draw the inner right left armpit into the heart and curl your belly up to the sky. Just let yourself breathe here for a moment. Exhale, please step it back to plank position. Come down, Chaturanga, as you exhale. 
click the toenails down, lift up into that beautiful cobra pose. So make sure the tops of the feet are pressing into the floor nice and strong. Clicking the toenails down and then exhale downward facing. Step your left foot forward, back heel up at this moment. Go ahead and stretch your left leg straight just to create a sense of space, right? Take the groins back and apart. Keep the spaciousness of the pelvis and now bend the knee at a 90 degree angle. Bring the back heel to the floor. So your front thigh is at a 90 degrees, your back leg is straight. Your left arm is now to the outside of your left ankle. Your right hand is to the right hip. Take the groins back. So you're gonna take the sit bones back and apart. Take a moment to look at your belly button to fill the back of your waistline to get the groins back. Then once you do that, actively scoop the tailbone down through the left side. Turn your belly up towards the sky, right arm over your ear and stretch. Stretch as far as you can with that right arm. So from the pelvis, root down into the earth and then extend out through the torso and out through the fingertips as you lengthen out. Breathe and enjoy. Enjoy being and finding more space in the body. Slowly come all the way out of the pose and into plank position. Exhale, Chattaranga Dandasana. Lie on your bellies and now interlace the hands behind your back. Curl your shoulders back, click the toenails down to rise up through the heart more. So the more you root through those legs, the more your heart can open up, the more your chest can rise up. Slowly release those arms, take them right outside your shoulders and lift your chest up into a nice, beautiful upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. In the down dog, take time to just enjoy being in the pose. You can bend your knees, wiggle your hips from side to side, shift back and forth, find space. And now please step your right foot forward to the top of your mat. Great. And now from here, bring the back heel to the earth and stretch your right leg absolutely straight. And keep your left hand to your left hip to start off with. So we're moving into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Scissor your legs in towards each other, towards the midline. Press the inner corners of your feet even more towards the floor. Take a moment to make sure your right knee is pointing straight forward so that all four corners of the knee joint are facing forward. Scoop the tailbone down, turn your belly up, chest up, and take your left arm up towards the sky. Full pose here, everybody. Full pose. Open and extend. Pelvis from the pelvis root down into the earth. Extend out through the torso. Take your left arm over your ear for a nice stretch. Good. Now step forward to the top of your mat. So you're going to be balancing onto your right foot. Coming into a standing splits variation. Open the hip first. Get really, really full, really tall. And then, then scoop the tailbone and start to square the pelvis. Nice. Take a nice big step back, coming out of that pose into downward facing dog, please. And then move into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale into a nice cobra or upward facing dog, please. Shoulders back, head up. And then downward facing dog. Left leg forward, back heel to the earth. Hmm. Take the groins back, then stretch your left leg straight. So we're moving again into Trikonasana. So take your time. Make sure that the body is optimally aligned. So I want you to press all four corners of your left foot into the earth. And then even as you do that, even with your right hand to your right hip, refrain from moving into the full pose until you've got that fullness, the fullness of the legs. Scissor them in towards each other more. Keep the leg as straight as possible, your left leg. Engage the quadricep. Scoop the tailbone down, turn the belly up, chest open, and now extend the top arm up towards the sky into this full trikonasana. So you keep on shining from here, from the pelvis, you extend down into the earth, then through the torso and out through the hands even more. Enjoy breathing. Take the right arm over your ear, please. Nice. And then take your hands down into the floor. 
Step forward, balancing onto the left foot. Bend your left leg, bend your right leg, and open the hip like you're a doggy, doggy trying to make a pee pee. <laughs> but then start to stretch that both legs straight down into the earth and up towards the sky. Then begin to square the hips. You're going to scoop the tailbone strong and keep taking that top leg up towards the sky. Pull yourself deeper into that left leg by taking your left arm and placing it to the back of your calf. Pull yourself deeper. And then very slowly step all the way back into downward facing dog. So you're going to bend your left leg and step that foot all the way back to the back of the mat. Once you're in down dog, let's move into Vashistasana, a side plank pose. So you're going to shift your weight to your right hand and the outer side of your right foot. Taking that right shoulder back, take the sides of the neck back, take the head back and lift the hips up a little bit higher. Make sure both shoulders are nicely pulled into the back of the heart to curl up. There you go. Beauteous. Downward facing dog. Left hand outer side of your left foot. Vashistasana. So one key element guys from here is keep pressing that knuckle of the index finger of your left hand into the earth. Keep curling the shoulder back and keep lifting up through the heart. Lift the hips up and scoop the tailbone to turn the belly up to the sky a little bit more. So you make this pose more curvy, less uh, straight lined, and then carefully come all the way out into your downward facing dog from here. Come back to your breath. And just breathe. Take your right foot forward to the top of the mat and now we're going to get into the hips. Bring your back knee down to the earth. Walk your right foot over towards the right side a little bit and then come down onto your forearms. So this is a deep lunge on the forearms with the back knee down to the floor. Instead of thinking though that you're just going to release the pelvis down to the earth, I want you to sort of resist the tendency to want to just drop all the energy down. You're going to press the back knee down and try to drag it forward and lift the hips up away from the floor more a little bit. As you exhale though, descend deeper into your right leg down towards the floor. Let the heart soften. If you need more space, one thing that you can do is you can walk your torso over towards the left side a little bit more so you get a little bit more room to move. And then we're going to move into pigeon. So you're going to carefully come on out of that pose. You're going to lift the back knee up away from the earth if you want to. Or actually you can leave it down and just bring yourself up and then walk your right foot over towards the left. You're going to come to the outside of your right shin. Walk your torso upright so you're really just going to be into an, with a, the torso lifted. So you're not going to be having the torso come down onto the floor. Outer right shin into the earth. Scissor your legs towards each other, try to squeeze the legs in, and then draw the right hip back in space more, lifting up through the heart. And let's move back to down dog and switch sides. Left leg comes forward, walk the left foot over towards the left, back knee to the earth, and bring your forearms down to the floor, please. Let the back of the waistline stay nice and full. And let the heart soften. Make sure your toes are nice and engaged on the left foot and keep extending the left knee even more towards the left side. That's going to give you even more of an opportunity to find uh, yumminess <laughs> coming out of that deep lunge. Now walk your left foot over towards the right side for pigeon. So the outer right shin is now towards the ground. So the left foot move to the right. Outer right shin comes down to the floor. Left knee to the left. Back knee down to the earth. Keep your torso upright and I want you to squeeze your legs towards each other so it's like your torso is upright. Keep that energy of pulling in towards the midline so you tone the pelvis. Draw the left hip back in space more. Widen the outer right hip to the right. And then sink down to the floor for just a couple more breaths. And downward facing dog please. Reach back, thighs back, heart open.
right foot forward, back knee to the earth. We're going to do a thigh stretch. So once you're here, reach back and hold your foot. Bend the back leg. So this is a deep lunge with your, with a thigh stretch. The right thigh is bent to the 90 degrees. You're going to reach back and hold the foot and make sure that the pelvis is facing straight forward. That's one of the issues that happens when you grab onto the foot. Draw the right hip back in space. Scoop the tailbone. Lift up to your chest. Lean back. Then go ahead and release that foot with your left hand, but reach back with the right and hold on with that right foot. Hold on with the right hand to the left foot. Take the right shoulder back and turn your belly towards the right side. Downward facing. Left foot forward. Bend the right leg, hold your foot. Square yourself facing forward, so you're going to squeeze your legs towards the front of the room. Turn the pelvis more forward, draw the left hip back. Crown of the head up, sides of the neck back. Mm -hmm. Squaring the hips. Soft face. Then go ahead and switch your hands, so you're going to reach back with your left hand. Take the right hand to the floor, turn the belly to the left, take the left shoulder back. Press the head back and open up that pose. Good. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and come to lying on your back. We're getting uh, towards the end of our class now. So you lie on the back. Make sure the soles of the feet are on the floor. Bend your legs. I'm going to be moving into Urdhva Dhanurasana, so just enjoy being in the body. Enjoy your breath. Release into the floor. Press the head back. Place the palms right alongside your ears, prepping for Urdhva. Press the inner hands into the floor. Lift your hips up. Claw the earth with the finger pads. Draw into your shoulders. Come to the top of the head. Then from the top of the head, plug from the inner elbow into the inner armpits. And then go ahead and stretch your arms straight. Extend now from the back of the heart down into your arms more. Then pelvis root down into the floor as well. Keep the back of your waistline full. Breathe and stay still. Just let the body feel the shape. And then come all the way down. Rest. This is when you get a chance to start to notice if there's already been a shift of energy in your body. If there has been a change in the way you're breathing, in the way that your mind feels. Just simply by practicing, by moving your body into these crazy different shapes, right? Is there a shift? Can you just enjoy sensing all of your body? Place your hands right alongside your ears. This is number two. Draw from the elbows into the heart. Lift your hips up. Then come to the top of the head. From the inner elbows into the heart, curl more towards your forehead and then go ahead and stretch your arms straight. Now from the pelvis, root down into the earth and then extend out through the torso. Press the arms absolutely straight. Find as much space as possible in this pose. Breathe. Breathe into all places of you. And carefully come all the way back down. Release the arms out to the sides. Let your legs just bend and be still. Please take a moment to not do a, a twist or knees into chest. Just be. Just be. Turn around and do a downward facing dog. You can turn facing towards the back of your mat. 
We're just going to let go and open up the lower back. So you're going to come way up onto your tippy toes, bend your knees, reach your groins way up, widen your sit bones and stretch your legs absolutely straight. Finding as much space in the body as possible. Please walk forward to the top of the mat. Bend your knees a little bit. Place your hands to either um, shin and squeeze your shins towards each other with your arms and then begin to stretch your legs straighter to really clear the lower back. Widen your groins, extend and spread out your sit bones and root from the pelvis down into the earth. Bend your knees. We're going to do just an easy hip opener. Bend the right leg and cross it over the top of your left thigh. So we're going to be moving into Agni Stambhasana. This is fire log pose. You're going to bend the bottom leg as well, otherwise known as double pigeon. Set your foundation so you're going to widen your sit bones in back and apart, right to left. Take your hands to either side of your pelvis. Press the pinky sides of your foot into the floor. And keep lifting up through the heart. Take both shoulders back. And start to fold forward. So the key to practicing this pose isn't just that you're just hanging out here, but you're literally actively pressing the pinky sides of the foot into the floor more, into the mat more, so that the shins squeeze to the midline. And as you're bowing forward, you're widening your groins in, back, and apart, so you're really extending your sit bones back. As that happens, as you spread the groins, now you can pour the heart forward. And by that, I mean it shoots it forward beyond your shins as you start to come down towards the ground. You don't have to come all the way down. In fact, maybe just a few, a couple of inches, or maybe even just one inch or a few centimeters coming down is enough. So much sensation. Go ahead and come on up and let's take it to the other side. So this time your left shin is over the right. Roll your inner thighs in, back, and apart manually so you spread the sit bones and get really nice and spacious. And again, let's charge those, those legs, that lower body. Press the pinky sides of the foot down to the floor more so that you really get to engage the lower legs. And then widen your sit bones. As you do that, then you can start to come forward. You can start to allow your heart to move down towards the floor more. Breathe and enjoy the body. Let your shoulders move back and the heart stay open. And slowly come all the way back up. Take a nice cross-legged position. This is Sukhasana. Sukhasana. Just, just cross your legs. Take your hands right to the tops of the thighs. Tops of the knees, actually. Your shoulders move back. Close your eyes. Shoulders back. And just settle. Settle into finding your space. Take your left arm across the body. Right hand behind you. And let's go ahead and move into a nice, beautiful twist. Shoulders back, heart open. Come out of the pose, cross the legs in the opposite direction, and let's go ahead and take a twist to the opposite side. So your right arm crosses, your left arm is behind you. Lift up through your chin a little bit, shoulders back, head back. And then inhale, come back to center. Come into now your comfortable cross-legged position and take your hands to your heart. Good job. Thank you so much for practicing with me today.
Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.